Well, uh, Banyana Banyana Deadly Forward Tembi Khatlana now joins us live via Zoom from Cape Town to talk about that very historic moment. Firstly, Tembi, thank you so much for making time for us. I mean, we were all so heartbroken when you suffered that injury about two weeks ago with that match against Botswana. What are the doctors saying? How is the progress so far? Good evening, Koli, and to everyone that's watching at home. Uh, yo, it was difficult for me. It was difficult for me uh, to hear about the injury. But, uh, you know, I was always in high spirits. I believed in, in my teammates. And today we are here celebrating their success, celebrating as, as a country. And it's good that I went on my surgery um, last week, Wednesday, and everything went well. So... Now I'm still in Cape Town waiting to have a follow-up with the doctor and a review of how the operation went. But everything is good and the doctors say I will be out for about a year. A year? A year, correct. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, uh, yesterday we also saw your video go viral on all social media platforms <laughs> when you were celebrating that victory with the caster on your leg. But what does it actually mean, you know, to you and the team? Because, Tebi, you were so instrumental, especially in those group stages. You even won the player of the match award against uh, that match against Botswana where you got injured. To see the team go all the way to the final and finally lift that trophy, what does it mean to you? It means a lot to me. And like I said, I was still part of the team, which really made me to be a... I don't want to say that like the 12th man for the team because we were like 80, including the technical team. So I still felt part of the for the team and I, I knew that the team needed me, they needed my support and that I needed to be there for them. So it really means a lot because when I left, the girls were saying, we are going to do this for you because we know how much you 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 would have loved to win this and everyone wanted to win, to win the trophy. So the video that's going viral of me dancing is because I'm happy and, you know, I'm happy for them. I'm happy for myself, for, for everyone else that's, you know, put effort uh, to make sure that Banyana Banyana eventually gets this gold medal and bring it home. And I mean, it, it was the right time for us to win this uh, because, you know, the country needed hope, the country needed smiles, we needed to be together, we needed to bring everyone. And I think, you know, we couldn't have done that at the, at the perfect time. And Anyana did it. it. It's still unbelievable that we are conquering Africa, but we are here to celebrate. And I, I, I hope that everyone will make their way to or Tambo to give them a really, really warm welcome because they've done the country proud. Absolutely. We are going to give them the hero's welcome that they deserve. But the biggest question is, what was the difference this time around? You know, because Banyana was in the final in 95, in 2000, in 2008, in 2012, in 2018, when you were part of the setup, where you even won the golden boot and the player of the, the, the tournament uh, accolade. You know, what was the difference this time around? Yeah, there was a huge difference and I think I'll just pick up on uh, a couple of things. The first thing is we all wanted to win. So, you know, you, when, when you want to win, you need everyone on board, including the technical team, you know, leaving their families to be with us, to help us, the coaches as well, the kid managers, the managers, everyone was was in it. You know, we, we knew that we, we had to win, including the players. So the mentality... I mean, off the field, on the field was great. And then the Federation also, you know, supported us. And I was saying earlier on with my interview with Robert that we as South Africans are the first people to criticize. And there's nothing wrong with uh, criticizing because then you would, you know, have to go back to the drawing board and, and fix a lot of things. But we also have to give credit where it's due. And I will be the first one to give credit to to suffer because I was there in camp and I could see what they really wanted to do. We camped earlier uh, than we were supposed to, to prepare a really good team. Um, the staff was there for us. We had a really, you know, good send off. Uh, when we got to Morocco, everything was set up for us. So as a player, that's great because you don't have to worry about things that are off the fold. If you have mm -hmm. all the support, everything that you need is there. 
uh, the wishes that you needed there. The only thing that you need is for you to be a player, for you to focus. And for a very long time, uh, since I've played for Banyana, this was the camp where Safa was really there and we never worried about things that are off the field. They also got in a lady called uh, Leanne, who was our mental coach, not a psychologist, we had wow. a mental coach, someone who was there to prep us from before the tournament, because we started this journey with her when we were still in South Africa, you know, she traveled with us every single day, we had sessions with her to sure. talk about how we feel, you know, we had uh, values as a team, as players, as technical teams, and every day we had to remind each other of our values, you know, we had questions of why we are there, what we want to achieve and how we are going to achieve that. And every single day we reminded each other. And like I said, the tournament was long and having Leanne in camp was really Tembi. great. Yeah. Wow, this really sounds uh, yeah. great. Thank you so much for giving us time. I'm worried that you're going to be out for a year because the World Cup is looming against uh, New Zealand uh, and Australia. But of course, we will catch up with Tembi Khatana later on just to find out about that. But that's where we'll leave it for now from the Sports Desk.